biggest construction contract on earth, U.S. military base in South Korea bribes scandal A U.S. military base in South Korea is shrouded in a corruption scandal with reports that a conglomerate corporation paid nearly $3 million, $2.24 million, in bribes to get lucrative contracts, it has been revealed. Camp Humphreys in South Korea is one of the biggest construction contracts in the history of the U.S. military and after its completion in 2020, the base will be the largest U.S. overseas installation in the world. According to a U.S. diplomat, the U.S. Army refers to Humphreys as the largest power projection platform in the Pacific. It was recently revealed that a major South Korean development group paid a former U.S. Army official for access to lucrative contracts. South Korean prosecutors raided the offices of SK Engineering and Construction, an affiliate of South Korea's third largest conglomerate SK group. They collected hard drives and documents with information on SKS construction contracts at Humphreys. SK has constructed multiple buildings on the base, along with road, water and power networks. According to the Justice Department, between 2008 and 2012, contracting officer for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Dwayne Nishi, and former Korean Ministry of Defense official, Sung Ju Lee, were charged with multiple crimes. It was related to over $400 million, $299 million worth of contracts to South Korea in exchange for $3 million, $2.24 million in bribes. Nishi left the army in 2012 to become a lobbyist seeking U.S. defense contracts. Prosecutors accused the two of concealing the funds and bank accounts run by Lee. Both Nishi and Lee were indicted in September 2017. The Humphreys corruption scandal is the latest case to hit SK engineering and construction in recent years. In 2013, SK chairman Ki Tae-won spent two years in jail for embezzling over $42.24 million, $31.56 million. But, he was put back in control of SK after his release 2015. According to a report in the Wall Street Journal, one got many privileges during his prison sentence. He had over 1,700 visitors and was effectively able to run the company. Since May, South Korea's President Moon Jae-in promised to clean up the widespread corruption in South Korean business. The recent case is putting a spotlight on his promises. Humphreys will eventually be home for up to 42,000 U.S. military personnel. It is going to be a small piece of America, complete with dozens of U.S. fast food chains, a golf course, water park and a football stadium so people won't get homesick. But, under a U.S.-South Korea defense deal known as the Special Measures Agreement, South Korea is paying the majority of the $11 billion, $8.22 billion cost of Humphrey's expansion. The U.S. military has around 28,500 personnel stationed in South Korea and is currently in the process of a historical move from its base in Yongsan. The U.S. military presence in South Korea is a constant source of tension as apart from the cost to the taxpayers, it also has environmental impacts. An environmental report revealed heavy pollution of groundwater near the base at Yongsan. A test identified a level of the carcinogen benzyl, 700 times the accepted limit. Also, the bellicose rhetoric between President Donald Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has put a spotlight on the U.S. military's presence in South Korea. It has agitated many South Koreans and there have been massive protests in recent months.